Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to set up this monitoring program using IDA64 and a few other applications. To start with, you're going to need IDA64. I'll have links to download all the software in the description. But you'll need a program called Space Desk. And then you'll have to be able to install it to your phone or tablet. And I use GIMP for a photo editor. A couple of quick searches on the internet should lead you to a key for an IDA64 if you need it. Once you have Space Desk Server installed onto your desktop, you want to install it onto your phone or tablet, whatever it is that you're using, and connect over Wi-Fi. You're going to have to get the um, IP address of your desktop. And once you do that, you connect to the server whenever it's running on your desktop. And let's just go here. Your displays. Um, this is my tablet here. I have it set in this 1024 by 768. And once you get it all set up, you have to leave Ida open. But what I did is I just put it over on the tablet screen as well and then put this over top of it and pretty much well gone. So I'm not going to show you how to install software. I'm fairly certain most people know how to do that by now. But once you get IDA64 installed, you go to File, Preferences. You want to come down here to Sensors Panel and you want to show your Sensors Panel. Enable a context view. You can set your resolution here. And then from there, Sensor Panel Manager. And I'm just going to go here. I'm going to go Modify. Basically, it normally says Sensor Item. I come down here to Image. Select your image for your background, hit OK, it's going to show up. Then say you want to start adding, you go new, and we're just going to go memory speed, and then we're going to set it for 300. I want it close to the bottom, so 640. You got your left and right right here. Zero being all the way over to the left, and then whatever your resolution is set for to go to the right, and Y is your vertical, and then from there, select. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger because I already know that it's going to need to be bigger. You change your colors as your text, hit OK. And bam. You want to add extra pictures, stuff like that. Place them in different places. Like here's the Ryzen logo. You go modify. You got that. And then you just put its location in the X and Y axis. You can add pretty much anything that they have in the sensors menu. Your utilization, your BIOS version, memory utilization, free memory, whatever you want to add. Quick little edits here and there. What I was doing to get mine to where I wanted it is I would adjust it. Like I know this one's here at 30 and then this one here is at like 250 or something like that and just move them around on your screen until you get them where you want. Thanks for watching guys. You have a good one. See you in the group.